Do you know what chow mein does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 250 grams of wet chow mein and this should be about 600 calories. Now this is a very popular street food and is almost all processed carbs. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 24 mg increase? How is that possible? This is the lowest blood sugar spike I have seen in this series so far. I in fact was expecting my blood sugar levels to rise more than when I had two vada paus which had increased my blood sugar levels by 54 mg. And that's because noodles are made of maida and maida has a very high glycemic index because it's a highly processed carb. It is possible that because chow mein has a lot of oil in it and it's got some vegetables, the presence of fat and fiber ensure that the blood sugar levels don't rise too much. But this could not have had that much of an impact. Look at the result. Another reason for this low result could be that the noodles used in chow mein are first manufactured outside, where they've been heated and cooled as part of the manufacturing process. And then in the restaurant, they're again heated to make chow mein. And it's possible that this process of reheating the noodles has reduced the glycemic index. This is very strange. Let me know in the comments whether I should try chow mein from another place just to reconfirm the results.